Yeah, three test series, and look, um, it, it's home. Australia doesn't lose at home. That's the important thing. And, you know, you go into the series with that belief, understanding and that commitment. There's no reason why Australia, uh, you know, you can't beat South Africa, but gee whiz, they're going to have to play well because it is quality opposition. Yeah, they've got a, a good bunch of guys there as far as uh, all the bowlers go, so I'm, I'm looking forward to the, watching some of the test matches this year from afar and um, hopefully we can come out on top. Um, in your own view, um, would you be playing four quicks in Brisbane? I suppose that uh, depends on the wicket, but uh, I think we've got an opportunity with our with our fast bowling stocks in Australia at the moment to be able to play four quicks. Um, certainly at the Gabba and the Wacker, I think that that's uh, a place that we could certainly deal with that. So um, certainly with the likes of Pattinson, Siddle, Stark, Cummins, Hilfenhaus, um, Joshy Hazelwood's popped his head up now in uh, South Africa. So there's a hell of a lot of young fast bowlers around now. And then you've got Jake Jackson Bird. Um, Colton Isle, McDermott, all those sorts of bowlers that are around the place at the minute, cutting. So, why not? Give it to them. And uh, who do you think would be, say, the first three picked for this upcoming series? <laughs> uh, I'm not going to get into selections, from my point of view. Um, um, I just want to see the, the best team picked and the best bowlers picked. So, you know, obviously, um, you know, the guys from last summer did a great job. Uh, Siddle, Pattinson, um, uh, Hilf. Obviously, Harris is out injured at the moment, so it uh, leaves the gate open for probably Starkey at the moment, being a left arm as well, uh, for a bit of variety. So it'll be interesting to see who they come up with. Who do you think should be in the Australian attack? Um, exactly who they picked. Uh, I think that uh, Mitchell Stark has gone from strength to strength. Peter Siddle does a lot of the hard work, and you know he, he doesn't really get his, his just reward. Um, Pattinson, if he stays on the park, is is just a, a strong, exciting prospect. And I don't think I've been as excited to see a fast bowler come onto the circuit since Jason Gillespie came onto it. Uh, he's big and strong. He, he bowls fast and he hates batsmen. I think it's it's a couple of good qualities to have. And um, Nathan Lyon now has, has gone from strength to strength and, and showed that you know he can contribute to to the team's success. And, and Ben Hilfenhaus, um, you know, he's when he's bowling. When he's up and, and about and bowling well, um, he's as good as any bowler in the world. So when you've got that, um, as I said, mixed together with the guys that you leave out, um, you know, to to think that Mitchell Johnson's on his way back, and and I hope I hope that he does well, and and the selectors haven't forgot, forgotten about him. Um, Ryan Harris is injured at the moment; I haven't seen too much of his name around. Uh, but when you've got blokes like um, Hazelwood, um, Hastings. Um, Mackay, these blokes around the place that are doing really well. Um, Alison McDermott up in Queensland. Um, now Queenslanders have got a have got a couple of good bowlers up there too, and, and New South Wales. So the strength is there, and all of a sudden you've got to be doing well to be in the Australian side. So I think that's a, a fantastic position for the Australian team to be in. It's lovely to see a couple of lefties up at the top of the order. I'm a huge fan of, of uh, Ed Cowan. I think he's been a terrific uh, asset to the side. He's, he seems to have settled into the role very well. Warner's a ripper. I mean, we so thoroughly enjoy the way he goes about his play. So, yeah, to have two lefties at the top, I don't mind that at all. And, uh, yeah, if they can keep themselves going, keep their form going and their belief in each other and establish themselves as, uh, as a quality outfit, I have no problem at all with those. That's fine. And what do you make of this South African attack? It's pretty impressive. Yeah, they've got an impressive attack as well. They've done very well at home and away. So Philander's had a phenomenal start to his test career, and that was against us. So, um, you know, they'll, they'll bowl well here, and we've just got to make sure that our batters are ready, ready for some good fast bowling and, and, and the ball will move. And where does Stain rank in uh, world bowling at the moment? I don't know where he stands on the... The latter, so to speak. So, look, he's up there as one of the best in the world So, at the moment. So we've got to make sure that we're, we're prepared for Philander, Stane and Morkel. They're, they're a pretty good attack. They're, they're, well, they're a very good attack. So, as I said, we've just got to make sure that our, our batters are on, on song and, and moving their feet well. Dale Stane's the best in the world at the moment. He's a fantastic bowler. Uh, Philander has, has virtually come from nowhere. Um, saw him bowl in South Africa last time. He's just presents the seam well, um, hits, hits the seam, moves the ball both ways, um, seems to know what he's doing with the ball, so dangerous bowler and, and they've got the backup of, of Morkel. Um, so you know, they're, they're an exciting team um, and it's going to come down to, to who can get the early wickets because if Australia don't get early wickets we're going to struggle and certainly if Australian batsmen can keep the, the South Africans out there 
um, and, and wear the ball down and, and give the middle all of the opportunity to, to make runs, then we're going to be in, in a pretty good position. So, yep, Australia to win. The South Africans are really tough, aren't they, at the moment? I mean, their bowling is just so strong. Their pace bowling is really good. Amlar is just doing a magnificent job, you know, just holding that middle order together. They are a quality outfit, no doubt about that. Australia will have to play well if they are to uh, to get past them. And, uh, yeah, look, at the Aussies love playing at home. It's going to be a fantastic series. But, gee whiz, I'll tell you what, South Africa need to be well regarded because they're entitled to that. I reckon the Bulldogs are going to win the flag every year. I, I can't back against my team, so Australia. And, and the reason that Australia are going to win the upcoming series is that um, I, I think for number one, we need our, our, our full team on the park. If we've got that, obviously you're going to be more competitive, but uh, James Pattinson, Peter Siddle, uh, Nathan Lyon, Mitchell Stark, Ben Hilfenhaus, it's a, it's a good bowling line-up, and the selectors had decisions to make, so obviously it was, it was tough picking those five bowlers. Um, you've got uh, a choice between Haddon and, and Wade um, and, and for Wade to come in he's been in great form and then, then your top six um, so you know I think that if, if we can put South Africa under pressure um, you know we, we can win and win comfortably um, but the thing about it is the players have got to believe in themselves because if there's any self doubt in that team the South Africans pick up on that and uh, That'll be very hard to beat. But you know, South Africa number one, Australia number three, um, virtually vying for number one spot. And I think that's a, that's going to bring the best out of the Australians. So I reckon Australia two one.